Hi everyone, uh, today I'm gonna be talking about a graphic novel which I consider it to be a part of a classic Marvel era uh, from uh, the early 2000s and it is in my opinion a masterpiece and I would highly recommend that all of you read this graphic novel. Uh, it is written by Matt Chernis and Peter Johnson. Uh, the art has been done by Michael Gados. Uh, for those of you who know the TV series Jessica Jones, that's basically based on a comic book series called Elias, uh, which was her uh, detective agent, uh, investigative agency. Uh, as shown in the TV series and uh, that was written by Michael Brian Michael Bendis and uh, artwork was done by Michael Gados so the same artist has uh, done the artwork for this one uh, I'm not a big fan of uh, Mike's uh, artwork but at least uh, it the story is so uh, mind-blowing in essence that the concept is something very simple but I think not a lot of people have had the opportunity to explore it the way uh, Matt and uh, Peter have done so. Uh, it is uh, trying to understand uh, how would Marvel's heroes uh, be. I didn't use the word superheroes because in the real world, in our world, uh, how would heroes act uh, against in injustice or would they act against injustice at all? Uh, would they be just like uh, most of us? Uh, would their destinies be uh, somewhat different? Uh, the story tries to establish a point what or in fact starts with asking a question as you can see over here what makes a hero now the DC Comics uh, universe as I often mention is uh, is based on the worldview of uh, wasps which is white Anglo-Saxon Protestants uh, now Marvel has been more realistic in its approach uh, its universe is uh, has very few fictitious uh, cities or uh, avenues in space and whatever have you uh, compared to DC Comics where uh, their household names are residents of uh, fictitious cities like Metropolis, like Gotham, uh, like Star City, like Coast City and so forth. But Marvel is, uh, the, the, the starting point for Marvel has always been New York City and uh, the real world basically and people with real issues but who have been blessed or cursed uh, with superpowers or in case of Iron Man uh, he, because of his genius uh, he is able to uh, create an armor uh, to the surprise of many uh, in the world not just shield or not just the uh, U.S. Uh, military industrial complex. Uh, to get back to the novel, uh, the cover was done by Alex Maleev. Alex Maleev, you know, uh, uh, his long run with uh, Brian Michael Bendis uh, for Daredevil, including the Murdoch Papers saga. Uh, it's a beautiful uh, artwork uh, by him. Uh, Wolverine uh, really looks like Hugh Jackman uh, and uh, I want to say that uh, Peter Parker looks like uh, uh, oh, I forgot his name Toby Maguire and uh, Matt Murdock isn't looking like Ben Affleck or uh, Charlie Cox back then nobody knew Charlie Cox I think that this was the time when the Daredevil movie had come out uh, but anyways the story takes place in New York City, uh, our beloved New York City, the home of uh, Marvel superheroes. But in this New York City, uh, there is no such thing as superheroes. It's 
our world it's our uh, universe uh, and it revolves around an individual who goes by the name of William Watts now I don't want to uh, go out uh, and say who this guy is uh, or who which character does this uh, guy is representing in this storyline but as you can see uh, the artwork is uh, I don't know sometimes I feel Michael Gados uh, his artwork is like colored noir uh, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right but film noir uh, the genre of noir uh, or noir or whatever have you it's very you know it gives a very dark feeling to it here we see uh, Wilson Fisk arriving in the court Matt Murdock trying to prosecute him and uh, then we have Wolverine uh, and this is the guy who is William Watts the story in its entirety uh, tries to uh, show the reality according to our world the limitations of our universe of each and every Marvel character as much as possible or at least the popular ones uh, you also for example you can find Stephen Strange in the storyline as well but he's not one of the main characters that I can tell you uh, I really would like to uh, say this that sometimes those of us who read a lot of uh, superhero stuff uh, fiction uh, that relates to superpowers and superheroes we somehow have this uh, tendency uh, that we get depressed that we get down uh, by seeing all the wrong things that are happening in the world uh, and uh, in that particular respect there's always this voice that comes out out straight from the heart uh, that I wish I had Hulk's superpower or I wish I had, was like Captain America or I wish I could have built an armor like Iron Man or I wish I could swing around uh, the cities like Spider-Man and have you know radioactive strength or be like Wolverine it's things just keep coming and coming uh, and this book this story is really important uh, sometimes I think that uh, I need my children to read this book uh, at some point in time if they uh, get involved in re into reading uh, comic books whether it's DC or Marvel so that they do realize that trying to do the good thingy doesn't require a superpower it require or in fact it is a superpower uh, but we don't know about it and it's like the willing the will to do the right thing uh, and uh, it's a very good approach uh, it's a v wonderful attempt and to this day I mean I never get tired of reading it again and again and again and uh, as I've said earlier that I'm not a big fan of uh, uh, Michael Gados's artwork but somehow with this story uh, as uh, it did with uh, Elias it really goes well and it's you just can't help not reading it again and again so for those of you who are fans of Spider-Man, Wolverine, Daredevil or Marvel Universe in general you really need really need to read this storyline uh, buy it from Amazon uh, I don't know if Virgin Megastores here in uh, Jeddah are selling it or not I hope these guys do import this book and it's a, it's a classic it represents the essence of greatness of Marvel uh, from the, the, the greatness the standards that were established 
1941 and they remained till 2011. I hope you guys enjoyed this review and uh, please uh, do let me know uh, if th there's always room for improvement and at the same time uh, if you have any questions relating to this uh, graphic novel this story or whatever have you i'll be more than willing to uh, answer your queries thank you very much for watching my clip i uh, hope to see you guys soon take care